What's up everyone, this is G-Shock High Fashion Channel coming back with another G-Shock unboxing video and today's clip I'm just going to voice over my old unboxing video which I already filmed back in the days. To be honest, I actually filmed a lot of unboxing video before that I haven't published it yet. I don't own the watch anymore with me so I'm just gonna voice over it and a lot more of this type of content coming soon as well. Okay let's get to the papers. This is the international warranty card that I received when I bought this watch and also manual archive for English manual as well if you are planning to download it and this is the 5371P Japan module. This is also a triple sensor master of G models and which is the Golf Master. Reference number GWN1000GB-1AJF This model was released back in 9th December 2015 Pretty old model at a retail price of about 65,000 yen Despite being released 2 years back, this model is still available sitting on shelf up until today So you are good on grabbing this if you are planning to do so The first thing that you are going to notice in this gold and black series Golf Master triple sensor is that gold ring iconic golf master ring up there and you notice they have plus over 10 and minus uh, under and such that is actually an indicator for atmospheric pressure change with uh, barometric functions but we'll get to the after look at its glossy sides you can see my reflection on it as well the buttons is in matte gold writings on top is in gold the glossy lock screw makes it pop when you wear on wrist you can see that they have blue ring around there bottom right button as well that is where you could access the triple sensor functions the gold crown have this uh, plastic mix in it gonna give you a better grip when you're operating it man just look at this it is gold fully gold than black and I weighed it actually it weighed about a hundred gram only even though it have a very huge face huge looking watch okay let's look into the dial the first thing that you are going to notice is that just below to the gold ring is the city codes for the world time functions and next to it is the index very simple dial despite this is also a triple sensor model and a type graph function added to this as well which is in that minor small ring up there okay at time keeping mode we have time in analog and day date and then we have a world time function the analog hand will move to the utc time depending on where the second hand is pointing at the digital will show current local time this is how it works and then you press mode we have the tight graph function the digital will show date and the analog ring there will show the tight low or high something and again we have the stopwatch same basic other functions and then we have countdown timer this watch have been default to 10 minutes and we have alarm standard thing as well and then we have receive function the for the atomic time synchronization this is a multiband 6 model and h time will back to timekeeping mode next let's have a closer look at the triple sensor function of this model first thing is the temperature 80.1 degrees celsius very straightforward next is the barometer we have here the changes atmospheric graph and also the amount you can only see the second hand pointing to that any other numbers on the bezel ring if there are sudden change in atmospheric pressure which you are not going to notice on a regular day okay next function is the compass uh, as always second hand will keep pointing to north and 12 hour index will point at whatever direction you are pointing now and the digital will show that reading very straightforward as same as any other compass function on all master of the G-Shock model actually and next is the altimeter in this mode the digital will show the change in height as well in that graph and also the reading straightforward and the analog will keep showing the time press sensor will back to temperature and then press mode will back to timekeeping mode for a loom shot on this triple sensor golf master everything will light up our minutes and all of the index second hand as well except the tight graph hand and the led light is pretty bright as well you can see everything from here except if you didn't charge the watch you can't see anything and the led is bright but not that bright as twin twin sensor golf master i believe but you can still see the loom even in a well lit area so it shows that it's a very quality loom on this piece next is i'm going to show you guys how to set up your golf master first you need to unlock the crown gold crown very beautiful gold crown unlock it towards you and you can spin it up and downwards basically to set it up and after you unlock it you need to pull it out and then the city 
namely will start blinking and the second arrow will start pointing at your local home city now which is TYOS is a clock index there so Tokyo spin the crown forward or downwards to switch between city code and when you spin it the hour and minute hand will show that local time based on where this arrow hand is pointing at but you kind of need to wait a little bit to check the time based on that city code so pretty time consuming but if you already know where your location at you can just straight away scroll the second arrow hand and point it towards your city code which is at the same time convenience as well next is press mode you can set up the um, DST setting on or off pretty much simple press mode again this is for the key setting on or off for the key sound and this is for the auto light and duration 12 24 hour system power saving mode and we're back to home city setting that's basically it to save everything up press back the crown a little bit spin it upwards to that blue pointer index over there to lock the crown back in position and now that we get that out of the way let's have a look at the band of this golf master model look at the structure very different structural as compared to any other g-shock model that is out there and look at the holes here on the band they all circle everything match with the circle ring on the bezel and it is very soft as always the golf master have the one of the softest type of urethane band gonna give you guys a very great fit and comfort as well this is the band tag golf master compass thermometer barometer and such the buckle for this comes in gold as well with casio thailand engraved on it well still have casio quality added to it as well look at this bottom layer of this band look how smooth it is this watch have a great fit already so you don't need all that rigid edges on the bottom part of the layer now this is the back plate look at that look at that. all the finishing all the circle finish to it glossy here and there everything kind of match with everything you know the back plate is circle the circle holes for the band the circle bezel ring the buttons are big as well i mean everything on this specific model fits to the team of course the bezel can't be spin but now yeah let's have a look at this top part of the band again this is the uh, buckle and band keeper of course in gold okay the thing that i like about a uh, triple sensor golf master is that it kind of like the improved version of the range man model of course this model was released after that and this model also have the tight graph functions with a range man didn't have and again that gold ring also serves a purpose like the eye ring of a range man basically this is an improved version of a range man except it is way bigger and the prices are just a little bit higher this is how it looks on wrist when i put it on very big but still fit just on my skinny wrist so if you have a bigger wrist then you have no problem the band length is good enough you're not gonna have any issue on extra band length okay that is all it on this unboxing video i hope you guys found this video useful and entertaining as well thank you very much for watching guys this is g-shock high fashion channel and um